welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I do have my full coverage foundation routine. I looked at my videos and I did one almost like nine to eight months ago. And that obviously has certainly changed and I do incorporate a little bit of more products into my routine. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And let's get started with this video. Please excuse my hair. I just blow dried it. Um, I'm going to do a little hair tutorial on how I do my hair. Um, for like an everyday basis so um, I just blow dried it and it's like super puffy <laughs> so first things off I'm gonna start moisturizing my face and I love this Neutrogena oil free moisture uh, for sensitive skin I usually buy it like at Walmart and my skin has been so dry I usually have um, oily skin through like my t-zone uh, but the weather here in San Diego has been pretty crazy like today yesterday and today was like super hot like 85 degrees here and the last week was like really cold so the weather has been crazy so I'm going to start moisturizing my face and I really like this moisturizer because it sinks into the skin so fast um and it's just super refreshing I used to not moisturize my face um but because it's like it's been like really dry even like my lips has been have been like super dry um i have to like moisturize so i actually tried to film this exact video yesterday and my like the camera that i use it's a three uh t3i like the canon t3i and the SD card usually takes video for like 12 minutes and yesterday like I kept talking and talking and didn't realize that my camera had stopped recording and I had already like done like I think I went from like finishing my foundation to like actually baking my concealer so I really couldn't use that because I mean I didn't show you like two important parts that I do so I had to refilm it and that's why we're here again so uh, after I moisturize, I let um, let the moisturizer sink for a little bit, and then I go ahead and prime my face. This is also one of my favorite uh, primers. This is uh, the Maybelline Master Prime uh, for blur and redness control, and it's the green one. This is also one of my favorite drugstore uh, primers, but like my ultimate favorite one is the like Too Faced uh, coconut one. So I just put a little bit on my cheeks where I have redness and the most visible pores, and I just press it on my skin. I really need to go get my nails done. I don't know what I'm gonna get though. A little bit on my nose, my chin. And then what I have left, I just put it on my forehead. So for today's foundation, I'm going to be using my favorite, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and mine is in color 2 and 1. This has been one of my favorite foundations ever. I actually used to use it a couple years ago, and I stopped because I wanted to try new ones. But that is one of the foundations that actually really stays on my face for the whole day. Because I do have oily skin, my nose and my chin usually get like super, super oily throughout the day. And that is one of the foundations that I've actually noticed that it actually doesn't like move throughout the day. And I decided to use that one for today um, because it's one of my favorite foundations. I'm just going to dot this. And I personally use a beauty sponge to apply my foundation. I don't know if, this, if it's the technique that I use with a brush. Uh, but I always see like streaks, like the lines on my face, and I don't like it. Um, I've tried many different brushes to apply foundation. It's just I prefer a beauty sponge. And um, this is one of my favorites. I love the Beauty Blender, but you know, you can't compare five or six dollars to a 21, you know, sponge. When I apply my foundation, I usually just like press it on my skin with the beauty sponge. I don't like rub it or um, so that we don't move the product. And I need to go get a pump because this foundation doesn't come with a pump. So I usually just like pour a little bit on the cap of my. Um, like pomade so I don't really know how much I use I'm guessing I use like a pump and a half for half of my face but I'm just taking a wild guess <laughs> don't forget to bring it down your neck just so you don't have that foundation line I am so excited I'm gonna go see Demi Lovato in concert 
the this uh February December February 28th and I am so excited I love her newest album and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna ball my eyes because just the way that she sings and like like even the, like the music like gets to me imagine like listening to her sing like that in concert like I can't it's gonna be amazing so now I'm gonna move on to concealer and I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I have it in the color Light Sand. Sorry, my phone. Um, I usually, for my concealer, I usually go one to two shades lighter than my actual foundation because I do like to highlight with my concealer. And the way that I do is I form a triangle underneath my eyes, just like this. And then I put a little bit on my forehead. I highlight the bridge of my nose. And then a tiny bit on my forehead, on my chin. <laughs> and then I just use that same beauty sponge. And with what I have left on my under eye, I take it up to my eyelid. And that's going to be my primer for my shadow later. And as I said, my under eye, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. And then I just put a little bit on the lid. And I just take another, uh, this is a beauty blender. And then I make sure that I blend the creases, if any had formed between the time that I finish putting my concealer and then I go in with the powder and then I actually bake my nose as well just because I have oily skin like I said at the beginning of the video my foundation tends to like leave my nose because it's the place where I get like the most oil um, oils coming through the day and then I put a little bit on my chin and then I just let that sit there for a couple minutes um, I go in and set my entire face after and then I just brush it away and I know I look I look a little crazy right now <laughs> But it's just what I've seen that actually works for my skin. So now I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC20. And this is a Morphe E34. And I'm just going to staple that to set my face. I usually just set my eyelids with that same no color powder from RCMA and I just take this Morphe Y14 and just set my eyelids just so that they're already prepped for my shadows. Okay, so now I'm going to contour and I'm going to be taking a Hula Benefit uh, bronzer with a Real Techniques contour brush, I believe. Um, the name like rubbed off so I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna contour and the way that I contour is If you look straight and then you move your mouth to your right or to your left like either side You're gonna see a little shadow here and that's basically where you're supposed to be contouring another trick is to actually follow your the beginning of your ear up here and then the end of your mouth so like that and then that's exactly where you're supposed to contour this is the one that it's like way easier for me. And then just remember to take a little bit of product at a time and not go in with like a bunch of product because that that's going to be even harder to like blend. And then I take a little bit and put it on the temples of my forehead. I don't have a like big forehead, 
but I just feel like it ties the whole look together. And then my nose, it's, my nose, if you can see it like straight, it's really slim. But like I said, the same with my temples, I feel like it ties the look together if I put a little bit of the bronzer on the sides of my nose. Not necessarily to like contour, but just to bring back a little bit of color. And the rest, I just go down my jaw. And then if you want, you can also put a little bit of the powder underneath your lower lip and this makes the appearance that it's a little bit fuller and then I always have a stippling brush this is a dual fiber F50 from Sigma and I just use it to just make sure that I don't have any like harsh lines for blush I'm gonna be taking the Lexi 516 dual fiber powder brush blush blush powder brush and then I'm gonna take this Becca um, mineral blush in the color wild honey this is one of my ultimate favorite um, blushes and I'm just gonna take that and then I like my um, my blush to take it I like to take it a little bit to the back not necessarily um, on the apples of my cheeks and then for highlight I'm the type of person that loves a really beaming highlight um, obviously that is very you know personal preference but like I said I like a really blinding highlight so I'm gonna be taking two products today to achieve that so I'm gonna be using my M501 brush from Morphe and the first highlight I'm gonna be using this is a Laura Geller um, highlight in the color Gilded Honey and I actually need to get a new one because first of all I already hit pan and it, it broke so I need to be like super careful when I use it so the way that I apply my highlight is you go and you apply it on the highest points of your cheeks. So it's going to be on top of your blush right here. And then you can do a little bit on, um, on top of your, the arch of your brows. And then I do my nose and my cupid's bow. A lot of people actually put a little bit on the chins. I personally don't like that on myself. And then as you can see, you can see the highlight and it's just so beautiful. And then I take a tiny bit of this product. It's just, I've been loving how it looks. So this is the Overshadow, uh, the Sex Spots from The Balm. And this is in the color No Money, No Honey. And I'm not going to show it on camera, but it's a powder and it's like liquid gold. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, so I just take whatever it's on the lid. And then with that same uh, M501 brush... I just grab a tiny, tiny bit and then just put it on top. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, the last thing that I do on my foundation routine, I actually set everything. Um, this again, this is personal preference. A lot of people don't actually use setting sprays. For me, I love using setting sprays because I feel that it actually helps my makeup stay for way longer than usually does without a setting spray. And it actually makes me look a little bit more natural. I know that this is a full coverage foundation routine. Um, but I, that's what I wear on an everyday basis whenever I'm wearing makeup. And in order for me to look a little bit more natural and not, and not as powdery, Setting sprays help you not look as powdery. So for today, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Continuous um, Setting Mist. And this is, I believe, currently sold out. I was lucky enough to grab it when it was um, like on their website. So I'm just going to set my face with this. Give it a couple minutes so it can set. And... That's basically it for my foundation routine. 
I know it looks like I, I use a lot of products and yeah for some people this may look like a lot of products but it's just um, what I like I like having a full face of makeup this is it for my foundation routine I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there as always all of the products that I used in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video bye